Hi, everybody. This is Mike Gertis from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living bringing you a love note. Hope you've had a wonderful day. In our teaching, we say that if you change your thinking, you'll change your life. That's a great idea. And you know what? It's really true. But some of us have a hard time, and I know I've had a hard time from time to time, of actually changing the thought and keeping that thought changed because my mind kept wanting to go about the problem or the worry or that what I was anxious about or the wants or the wishes or the have to's, focusing on stuff rather than choosing to focus on that which it is that I want to realize, that which I want to know. And without which I want to know, I need to talk about to myself about the qualities, the feeling, the experience that I'm looking to have, not necessarily the outlining the way it's supposed to show up. Now, how do we train our thoughts? How do we train our thoughts to think what we want to think? Well, the best way that I have found is what we call meditation. And I know I say that word and a lot of us are going to go running for the off switch <clears throat> because that turns up many people off. Basically, because you don't really know what it is, A, or B, you've tried it and it was too hard. Your mind kept going here and there and it was too hard. You felt you were a failure. Listen, you can never fail at meditation. Ever, 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 ever. Because all you're doing is quieting the mind and focusing on a thing, thought, or no thing. So you do not have to follow any particular mantra. You do not have to follow any particular format. You need to find some way to focus the mind on something or some no thing so that you can learn to control your thinking. So here, if I'm going to treat, <clears throat> I'm going to meditate first. And some people would say, well, you know, the first two steps is really meditation. And they're right. When I recognize spirit and I unify with spirit, that is a contemplation, a unification, and a good thing to focus our mind on. And if you can do that, great. That could be your meditation. For some of the rest of us, what we need to do is open up some good literature we need to maybe look at Saint, the prayer of St. Francis, something, so that we can focus our mind and keep the monkey mind still. Now, you might find that it goes, still goes off and it still goes running around. It takes practice, practice. I used to run marathons. I know, it's kind of, that's a long time ago, but I did. And before I ran marathons, <clears throat> I really wasn't in the best of shape. And so to begin to run marathons, I started running, jogging a little bit at a time, a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more until I was running a lot more. Same way with meditation. Just try a little bit today and try a little bit tomorrow if you're not doing it and keep on doing it. It's keeping on doing it. It's rigorous not so rigorous as is, is consistent practice of your meditation that will help you to train your mind. We're not trying to get to a situation where we necessarily get enlightened. We could talk about that another time because truth be known, you already are most of the time. But what I'm talking about is that we need to focus and learn to focus on that which it is that we want to experience. And meditation is the best way that I have found to learn to do that. So practice your meditation. Build up your meditation muscle. Build up your muscles to keep your mind focused on that which you want so that you, when you change your thinking to change your life, you stay the way you want it to be changed. That's all for tonight. I hope you've had a beautiful day and a beautiful day tomorrow. And we'll be with you again soon. Bye-bye.